this thing on. Yeah, I guess it's on. Hello again, Aaron with Cowtown. Twisters. Balloons. Um, second basic tutorial. If you haven't watched the first one, and you've never twisted balloon before, that was lock twist. The basic dog. We're going to need some lock twist in this video too. Uh, I'm also going to make this not just a bird body roll through and a bird, but I'm going to teach you how to start to learn how to mouth inflate. Um, yeah, so here we go. This is a Qualtex 260. This is a yellow. Um, okay, when you blow this up, and you just pull on it a little bit, and stretch it, and don't blow with your, here, blow from here. Keep this tight. Blow from your diaphragm. Don't blow hard. Blow fast. Force equals mass times acceleration, right? You want force to expand the balloon, accelerate, don't necessarily try to push. I don't know what the difference is. Alright. I'm gonna get a little pull. And that makes it go in. If I wanna just just let it out. So you and then let go. Okay. So I wanna make a bird. That's going to be, again, a good six finger tail. Right. So, my hands are big, maybe seven. Okay, so for the bird, I want to make two bubbles, one longer than the other. Okay, this is tricky at first. You're going to Hold it like that, and you're going to lock twist. This, you don't have a bubble here, you have a the nozzle and the knot. Uh, pull up and turn. I told you this is dangerous because you have a knot there. This is more dangerous, more likely to crease and pop. If you do, try again, practice. Okay? So I'm not only twisting it around this time. I couldn't do this with the lock twist with the dog, but I'm going to push the nozzle through there. That is really going to hold. It's not going to come undone. Okay. Uh, you can use a different balloon to make the eyes, or you can just make them the same color and draw eyes on there with a white marker there. There are white markers. Now notice, I made this smaller than this. So it's starting to look more like a bird. Like a I didn't mean to make that too much smaller. These should be the same. This one's smaller than this one on the beak. Okay. Um, now we're going to give it a little bit of a neck. I'm going to hold it still. This is, look at that. That just looks hard. Brittle. It's going to pop. Okay. Even after I softened it, pushed it back. It's still pretty soft. Much softer than it was. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make one about a hand. My hand. So maybe slightly bigger on your hand. Okay. I'm going to soften it. I'm going to make another one. Same size. And I'm going to lock twist these. I'm holding my one, two, three, four lock twist. Just like the dog. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Okay, pull that down. Look at that. See, it's getting fatter. That means it's hard. Stretch it out and make it soft. Let's make one. Okay, your third bubble is going to roll through the first two. Make sure it is no bigger than these two. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn this way so I can show you what's going on. We're going to hold the joint, maybe with this thumb, and keep pressure. I can take my finger away. I'm going to use that finger and these fingers to start rolling these apart. 
while my thumbs push on that third bubble through. Uh -oh. I'm gonna do it quick. Okay. While you're pushing, technically you're still using two of these fingers of this hand, and you're using the other three to roll. Okay. And push. And roll. You gotta use your body. Use your body. Now it's not really pulled through there. I'm gonna grab toward the bottom, just get a little tug. Right here, a little tug. Now I've got that. Okay, I'm gonna make a foot. Foot. One, two, three, four. Lock twist. Okay, now I can do the special little tail maybe. For the bird, if you want, you don't have to. I just sort of stuck it out there. I'm not gonna push that in there and make it stick out. And with the little birdie, we can put a little separation in between the feet, and we can tuck the collar, the top of our shirt. body roll through and lock twists from the first video another one coming soon